The first Realme smartphone was a surprise success in the Indian market, thanks to its value for money features and unique design. But it did have a number of flaws. Now the Realme 2 has arrived, so is it a better smartphone? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bwom.com and this is the new Realme 2. Cool, right? Anyway, this brings a lot of upgrades over the Realme 1 but a few downgrades as well. But before I get into all the details, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now let's talk about the Realme 2. So this here is the new Realme 2 and the first thing to notice here is that the biggest change in design comes in the form of a notch. Yes, there's a notch at the top. And I know not a lot of people like it, but this means the Realme 2 has a slightly bigger 6.2 inch LCD display. While the display is bigger, the resolution is surprisingly lower. The Realme 2 has an HD Plus display compared to a Full HD Plus display in the Realme 1. Now that's a downgrade, but from the looks of it, the Realme 2 seems to have a decent display. But yeah, I'm still not sold on the lower resolution. On the back, the Realme 2 features the same diamond pattern design that was a defining thing about the Realme 1. It is striking and unique and some people don't like it, but I definitely like it. Plus, as you can see, there are some changes here. The Oppo branding is now gone, obviously, and there's a fingerprint scanner. I mean, thank God for that. My biggest issue with the Realme 1 was the lack of a fingerprint scanner. So I'm glad that the Realme 2 fixes that. I know the fingerprint scanner looks a little weird, but it seems pretty fast, so that's cool. There's also the dual camera setup here, which I'll get back to later on. Other than that, the Realme 2 has the same design as the Realme 1. The edges of the display still feel a little sharp, no improvements there. Then there's the usual buttons, the dual SIM card slot, which by the way is not hybrid, so you can use two SIM cards and a micro SD card with it, just like the Realme 1. So that's great. And there's the micro USB port, the headphone jack, all the usual stuff. Also, if you're wondering if there's dual VoLTE support, well, we checked and as you can see, it does have dual VoLTE support. I know there's a lot of confusion if the Snapdragon 450 supports dual VoLTE, but this phone definitely seems to have that, so I guess it does. It's pretty clear that the Realme 2 brings a number of design improvements over the Realme 1. The fingerprint scanner is here, the display is bigger with the notch, the diamond pattern still looks pretty good. The lower resolution display kind of makes me skeptical, but that's not the only downgrade it brings. The Realme 1 packed in the MediaTek Helio P60 chipset, which performed even better than the Snapdragon 636 when it comes to benchmarks. But the new Realme 2 comes with a lower-end Snapdragon 450 processor. And as you can clearly see, it's a big downgrade from the Realme 1 as far as benchmarks go. Now, I'm not sure why Realme decided to downgrade the processor, but it's definitely a disappointing move. Having said that, the Snapdragon 450 is a decent processor, so we'll have to wait and see how this phone performs. So far, it has been pretty good with the apps launching quickly, games working fine, but yeah. I have noticed some lag at times and that I think is mostly due to ColorOS on board here. The Realme 2 comes with the same ColorOS 5.1 with Android 8.1 Oreo and if you've used it, you'd know that it's a feature-packed skin. Personally, I don't like it much due to sluggish animations, weird icons and weirder color schemes. But yes, it comes with all the features you can think of. There's Face Unlock, which seems decently fast and accurate. There are also navigation gestures. You can swipe up from the center to go home, swipe from the left bottom to open the recent screen and swipe up from the right bottom to go back. It's fine, but there's no way to switch between apps. So that's a bummer. There are a ton of other features here. There's app locker, private space, game space, etc. There's a lot of features here. Moving on to the cameras, the Realme 2 brings a 13 plus 2 megapixel dual camera setup, which is an upgrade because the Realme 1 had a single camera sensor. Here are a few shots we have taken from the phone. As you can see, some photos look decent while some are just okay. I mean, in low light, the phone does seem to struggle. But yeah, this is a budget phone and the cameras here show that. On the front, there's an 8 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera with portrait mode. And I like it. Check out these photos from the Realme 2 front camera. Well, these selfies look nice, right? Sure, the details on the face are a bit low, but it's pretty good for a budget phone. Anyway, we'll be testing out the Realme 2 cameras more in the coming days to get a better idea. 
So far, the cameras on the Realme 2 seem like a decent upgrade from the Realme 1. But the best thing about the Realme 2 is the bigger battery. The phone comes with a huge 4,230mAh battery. I mean, the Realme 1 with 3,410mAh battery offer decent battery performance, so things should be even better with the Realme 2. To be honest, the battery performance should be pretty great on this phone. Apart from that, if you're wondering if it supports fast charging, well, it does not, but it's not a surprise in this price range. So that was a quick look at the new Realme 2. At the time of shooting this video, we don't know the price of the phone yet. The Realme 1 started at Rs 8,990, so the Realme 2 with downgrades like a 720p display, lower in chipset, should be priced lower. If you ask me, I'm expecting it to be priced around Rs 7,000, and at that price, it should be a decent phone. Sure, when compared to the Realme 1, it seems like a downgrade, but compared to the likes of the Redmi 5, this seems like a pretty good phone. I mean, it's worth noting that the Realme 2 brings a fingerprint scanner, a bigger display with a notch, if that's something you like, and a larger battery, which is definitely something I like. Look, if priced right, the Realme 2 can be a great phone for the masses with its unique design. But honestly, I'm a little doubtful of the performance here because of ColorOS 5.1 and the cameras. But yes, we'll reserve our final verdict for our full review, which we'll be posting soon on bbomb.com, so stay tuned for that. Well, those are our first impressions on the new Realme 2, and yeah, it's obviously not a perfect phone, but it's decent for its price. But what are your thoughts? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and share it with your friends who are looking to buy the new Realme 2. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.